Good evening, everyone. Late Night Mega here. And tonight, we're playing Mega Man Unlimited. So put on your PJs and prepare for some cliches. And we have our intro scene. Now, Mega Man Unlimited, this was a project that I... It was like five years in the making, and I started like following the project from its inception, or, or nearly uh, after that. Uh, this game was made by Megaphil X. And we have some, you know, fairly standard Mega Man plot. Dr. Wily, he didn't do anything wrong, right? And him and Dr. Light are going to work together to fix the problem. Some other force is controlling your robots. But we don't know what it is. Oh, hello. So someone kidnapped Wily. Well, I guess that's a new twist. Uh, so this is a fan game. If I haven't made that apparent already. All right, and this is... What do we even have in this game? Now, I mentioned at other points on my channel that I tried to get this to record and I was having difficulty with it. and ended up uninstalling and reinstalling things. Uh, so I don't actually have any save files on here. Do I need to do this? Okay. Well, we should be good now. Uh, music, original... Don't we have, like, a buster? Scenes, default, short... There's alternate music. Okay, anyways, we're going to actually start with Whirlpool Man. This was something that was added um, afterwards, where it was basically like another... Oh, hey, we do have Buster. Oh, uh, we're going to keep the Charge Buster. Uh, originally, when this game was released, it didn't have a Charge Buster. It didn't have this Whirlpool Man stage. This stage will actually function like um, the special stages in Mega Man 10, where when we beat this stage, we're actually going to get a weapon that we can use in the main game. And we'll have access to it right away. So yeah, I want to do this. And it's actually been, it's been years since I last played this. Um, I did play through this game, you know, several times. And then they started coming out with updates, and I played it some more. But I haven't played this since I started this channel. We have... We have a lot of uh, pretty decent weapons. Uh, so one thing about this game is that the stages tend to be really lengthy. Uh, oh, I, yeah, I'm getting chopped. So we'll see how well I do here. I think we have to do... Yeah, we're going to have a whirlpool. These underwater mats are annoying. So the reason this stage was added was, well, it was kind of a concept. This was a Robot Master that didn't, like, make the original cut of 8, but one that Megaphil X wanted to include, so he included it in this way. I love the trickiness. Oh, it takes two shots to 
trigger those. So oh, I'm gonna have to use a weapon here. Rainbow Beam. That'll work. So yeah, it's kind of like Drill Bomb in the sense that you have to press the fire attack again in order to get that detonation. And you notice mini E-Tanks here. I'm going to try not to utilize... Well, maybe I should use the weapons. At the mini-bosses, I will definitely be using the weapons. So oh, we're about to have issues. I'm going to test my dodging capabilities. Let's just have fun. We. I guess I didn't destroy all of them. That's okay. Wow, I'm actually not doing as bad as I thought it would be. This game is actually fairly difficult. Okay, this is the mini boss. We're gonna use Yo-Yo Cutter. I don't remember how to battle this thing. Okay, yeah, Yo-Yo Cutter is a fairly strong weapon. It's it's like the mini boss killer weapon of the game. It has a bottomless pit. We have split path here. I don't remember which of these paths suck less. <laughs> uh, we'll take this path. Oh, I finally got hit by one of those. Oh, hello. I see you, Spikes. I see you. Let's get out of here. No. Oh! Oh, wow, we explode really quickly. I thought I would have lasted another... Okay, fine. We'll go this way. Oh, yeah, this is the... dangerous path. Uh, what do I want to do about that guy? Jet missile. You're supposed to get home in. Oh yeah, the Yoku attack, that's a really good attack. Yeah, that's how you gotta get through that. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Very tricky stuff. We do have a, uh... Do you have any energy balancer here? That's nice. Um... What do I want to deal with this fish? Or we can just ignore it. Uh, here we can't ignore things is easily. Let's get rid of some stuff. The bottom one gets us another small E-Tank. We gotta collect four to get the full E-Tank. Oh, that's so tricky to get. Um, Yo-Yo Cutter, be amazing. This is gonna get me killed. Oh, or it's not. Okay, I got it, we're good. We are good. We are in trouble. Uh, Comet Dash. Help me out here. Um, whatever you're doing, stop. Nail Shield. Okay, whatever. We got past it. And then here's where the two paths meet up. I told you, these stages are really lengthy. Uh, now what would actually be... Can I rainbow beam through your shield? Oh, I can rainbow beam through your shield. But I'm about to have other issues. Oh, I'm about to have major issues. Okay, do you want to be homing now? 
Well, I guess you don't want to home in on those guys, but that worked. Oh, we could use that thing. We'll use... Yoku attack is really good. Okay, time for dangerous stuff. Oh, I gotta go down there and get that. I'm gonna need that for Whirlpool Man, because I don't think Whirlpool Man has a weakness. And heck, if I remember what his actual pattern is. Problem is, I have to fall enough. Yeah, this game is fairly difficult. I think I've mentioned that already. I remember getting stuck at so many places when I first played this game. The biggest complaint I have with the game is how... how long the stages are. I feel like the stages as a whole are just a little bit too long. Especially this section. Like, it's neat how we're going back and forth, and you have to be really careful, because otherwise you could get set a long ways back. You want to home in. Jet missile. Homing capabilities leave something to be desired. Oh, hello. Yep, that's the big stomper enemy, and we have another big fish. Hey, we actually made it to Whirlpool, man, on the first go. I'm, okay, we died once, but I love this boss fight music, too. Oh, that's right, those things do that. I'm kind of remembering how to battle this guy, surprisingly. Uh, issues. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's easy E here. Just beat him on the first go. Yeah, this was a great water stage. This stage, I feel like it's a bit longer than the normal stages in the main game. Maybe, maybe not. Goodbye. Haha. <laughs> All right, so that's Whirlpool Man defeated. And for me, Mega Man Unlimited really raised the bar as to what Mega Man fan games should be. Because prior to this, there might have been a couple other like really good fan games, but the physics on this game is like spot on compared to other Mega Man fan games, like say uh, Mega Man Eternal. Mega Man Paradise, Mega Man Rocks, uh, games that you're probably not ever going to see me play on here. Uh, one other thing that really made me salty was this game got released the same year, or like within a month apart rather, of the Mega Man Street Fighter crossover game, which was also a fan game. And what really made me annoyed was that the Mega Man Street Fighter crossover got like officially endorsed from Capcom because it was what was it the 20th anniversary of Mega Man and Capcom wasn't really doing much with Mega Man at this time and so like hey for the anniversary we'll just uh we'll just endorse this fan game and hooray we did something but they didn't endorse this fan game and that's what really really annoyed me and Capcom was full aware of this game in fact uh, that's kind of the story behind uh, this game is that Megaphil X, he created a couple like little flash game videos. One of, we're going to get into the main game here. 
one of um, Tank Man stage, like part of the stage and then the boss fight. And then he did the same thing for Rainbow Man. He entered the Tank Man one into like some contest that Capcom had. I'm pretty sure he won that contest. And then he posted these videos online. He's like, this isn't a real fan game or anything. But the feedback he got from these videos was just like overwhelming. And, he, and then he decided to uh, make the... Okay, cool. And then he decided to make this into a full game. And so, yeah, you can see our Robot Masters here. Ah, uh, That's another thing with this game, is that there's some Robot Masters... No matter how many times I played through this, I can't just go in any order I want to. And for other reasons, it would be wise not to. But yeah, we'll start tackling these guys next time. I'm probably going to keep it to one Robot Master per episode, just because the stages are kind of lengthy. So with that, I'll see you guys later.